Lalisa Manoban is an international superstar with 46 million followers on Instagram. She is by far one of the most popular people in the world and also the most followed K-pop idol on Instagram. So making headlines is not something new for Lisa, but today she made headlines for all the wrong reasons. The hashtag respect Lisa has been trending recently as haters of the idol seem to be fixated on one thing and one thing alone, that she's Thai. Messages from various Blackpink online forums have surfaced that are rather crude and discriminatory to Lisa. Just go live with the Thais, lady boy. This is of course reference to the big LGBT community in Thailand. LOL, her parents gave her the body of a man. Doesn't really make sense, because she's gorgeous. So, um, let's see. I don't want to be racist, but Thailand is such a country. They're number one in woman trafficking. You know how you know that someone is going to say the stupidest crap in the world is when they start out their sentence with, I don't want to be racist, but... Not to be racist or anything, but Asian people... <laughs> now, this is not a first time occurrence. Lisa, being the only Thai member in Blackpink, has faced this kind of insults before. And it's not just Thai people. It's a trend that's common among all people from Southeast Asia. When boxing legend Manny Pacquiao was still deep in rivalry with Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather responded by saying, Howard Stern once stated, The Philippines is a very strange country. I always recommend to everybody not to go there unless you want to get laid. The Philippines is a country where fathers sell their own daughters for sex. That's how desperate they are over there. And I think they eat their young over there. Heck, it would be impossible to list all the anti-Vietnamese sentiments and stereotypes that occurred because of the fallout from the Vietnam War. Just take a look at this scene from Fulmino Jacket. Wow, well, baby. Me so honey. Me so honey. Love you a long time. Since what has seemed like the beginning of time, the world has always looked down upon Southeast Asians. Usually comes with sentiments of us being uncivilized, for being poor, and of course, my favorite, for being brown. Even among other Southeast Asians, I've heard things like, Hoi pare, what kind of Asian are you? Are you the fancy Asian? Or are you the Asian of the jungle? This clip from Dear Counselor teaches you everything that you need to know. They called you a Filipino? I'm so sorry. How embarrassing. 올해 이번 달 이제 돌이 되는 딸이 하나 있어요. 아, 어, 좀 많이 걱정도 되시겠어요, 좀. 제 피부는 안 담고. 엄마 닮았어요. 네, 엄마 쪽 닮았거든요. 네. 아, 이거라. 아, 아, 전혀 다행이다. 아, 전혀 뭐. 전혀 다행이다. 아, 전혀 뭐. 전혀 다행이다. 아, 전혀 뭐. Mr. Becerra, congratulations. You're now a proud father. Yeah, okay, okay, cool, cool. But how's the skin? Fair and light skinned, just like her mother. Oh my God, what a relief. I wouldn't want him to be brown and disgusting now, would I? And then there's the issue of the constant erasure of Southeast Asians in the media. Vanessa Hudgens is part Filipina, but in High School Musical, they named her Gabriela Montez and slapped a Hispanic sticker on top of it. Nick Santos was a Filipino, but he was changed to a Chinese man in Crazy Rich Asians. But I think the biggest offender is the movie Raya and the Last Dragon, supposedly inspired by Southeast Asian culture and history. Yet nobody in the entire main cast is Southeast Asian except one person. How does that work? EJR David, professor at the University of Alaska Anchorage stated, even though we have been in these lands now called the United States since 1587, and even though many of us trace our roots back to lands that are affected by US colonialism and imperialism, we still don't belong. We're still forgotten. We're still not Asian American let alone American. It's one of the reasons many brown Asians do not identify as Asian Americans. Perhaps we just don't feel connected to East Asian people, 
cultures and lived realities. Perhaps we also don't feel welcomed and included. Once again, we feel like outsiders, even within the Asian American community. So why does this keep happening? Many attribute it to our history. We've always been the butt of so many colonizers' wars. We've been whooped by China, by Japan, by Spain, by France, by America. Maybe it's our home country's wealth. Southeast Asian countries have never been really wealthy. When many Southeast Asians work abroad, they work as maids and domestic workers, which is how many people just view us sometimes, as lower class maids and domestic workers. <laughs> but really, it all comes down to this. <laughs> LOL. You have brown skin. Now, the point of this video is not to complain or to cry victim, but rather to call action to everybody out there. I'm not trying to call out a single culture or ethnic group. I'm talking to everybody out there. Isn't this the goal for all of us as a human society to understand each other better and to grow closer together? There's so much negativity in this world already. Why do you choose to add to that? No matter who you are, where you're from, your skin color, your gender identity, just speak yourself. Find your name and find your voice by speaking yourself.